One of the most important medicinal mushrooms in the world is uh, the famous reishi or uh, lingji. Uh, this is Ganoderma lucidum and or varieties uh, including Ganoderma suge. In fact, there's quite a bit of uh, uh, taxonomical uh, confusion about uh, the exact identity of this uh, mushroom. Um, certainly, there is the suge of the western Pacific Northwest, uh, but also Ganoderma uh, curtsy grows very well around the St. Lawrence Seaway, the Great Lakes, down into Georgia and those areas as well. Uh, all of them have very similar uh, uses. Uh, they've been, uh, reishi is the most uh, studied medicinal mushroom in the world, uh, particularly uh, in Japan and China, where vast uh, uh, I think there's something like 700 studies have been done on uh, particular uses for medicine. Um, some of these are in vitro, some in vivo, but many human trials indicating that reishi is a superior immune, immune modulator, meaning that it will actually ramp up the immune system when deficient and damp it down when overly active. That makes it very useful for various autoimmune conditions such as uh, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, um, Guillain-Barre uh, syndrome, uh, uh, Sogren's, uh, oh, there's a number of, of uh, uh, conditions where the immune system really has misidentified and is now attacking itself, helping to modulate that inflammatory response. Uh, reishi is, uh, uh, has been used by Taoist monks for thousands of years and has been prized for what they call calming the spirit. Uh, what that means is really is that uh, reishi has the ability to, uh, to, to calm and, and nurture particularly the uh, endocrine system, the adrenals, the thyroid, the pituitary, the gonadal system. In fact, uh, reishi is considered an adaptogen in the uh, herbal world, meaning that it is a, uh, modifies our response to stress. So anything where there's an overly active or underactive condition in the body, reishi could be very useful for that. Of course, it is useful for many different kinds of cancers. Uh, including breast cancer, uh, ovarian cancer, prostate cancers, all the hormone sensitive cancers are, are favorably affected by reishi. Uh, it is um, the most widely produced and sold medicinal mushroom in the world and uh, sales have gone from in the hundreds of millions uh, some 10 years ago to now we're over I believe $13 billion in reishi supplements alone. Uh, reishi is produced by both the fruiting body and the mycelium and even the spores. Different uh, technologies have shown that uh, combining some of these different uh, extracts can give a favorable uh, efficacy. Uh, one of the things about reishi that should be remembered is that it can be taken on a daily basis by most people. Uh, it has a few contraindications uh, uh, with regards to uh, uh, blood thinning. So definitely contraindicated for about uh, two weeks before any surgeries that may be contemplated. It also doesn't combine well with uh, medications like ACE inhibitors and that particular issue should be um, uh, uh, note it and uh, paid attention to. Uh, other than that, uh, reishi actually is very favorable for many people and will basically not only enhance and optimize the immune system, but actually work on what is called the P53 pathway. There are many stages of uh, normal cell turning cancerous. 
and there are different checkpoints. There's about 13 of them that are quite vital, but none probably as important as P53. This is the point at which the immune system recognizes an aberrant cell, makes a decision about whether or not it's going to allow it to survive, and or induce what is called apoptosis, or self-programmed death. If that decision is made, the cell then is dissolved, recycled, and there are, the cancer cells cannot be continued to grow. And in fact, this is going on every day, every minute in a normally functioning immune system. It's just that some people's uh, immune systems have been assaulted by various environmental toxins or foods or some genetic predispositions and so a higher vigilance is needed and optimizing p53 which reishi does is very very useful for all medicinal purposes <laughs>